For many of us as kids, we have found entertainment through playing video games, though with the semi-recent explosion of the internet, we can access buttloads of information, and because of that, you may find that some of your favorite video games from your childhood may or may not be so innocent as they seemed. Here are three video game urban legends that may be true. Welcome everyone to my channel, I am your host Rudo, and... Yes, I am doing three video game urban legends. Now let's get started with Hell Valley from Super Mario Galaxy 2. Super Mario Galaxy is a game where you fly through space after the famous Koopa King Bowser who has just so happened to kidnap Princess Peach again, while also saving the universe in the process. The origin of this legend lies in Shiverburn Galaxy, where if you go into first person and look up to one area of the cliffs, you will see three ghostly figures standing there. A popular speculation is that they were just aliens that were watching Mario from a distance. However, other people speculate that it's something a little bit more sinister and supernatural, which eventually had brought this story to Creepypasta Wiki. Now, here's where things get interesting. A person on the site GoNintendo.com, with the username of Gear Tacos, hacked the game to get access to the game files. As you see in the game, they are part of the skybox, and the map that surrounds these figures were under the file name Beyond Hell Valley, and the figures name were Hell Valley Sky Trees. If you play the game, they're never mentioned or even acknowledged by any of the characters, and the only way that they are acknowledged is by the gamers who find them. Honestly, I find them kind of cute. What? That's not totally weird at all. Now we have Earthbound, aka Mother 2 in Japan, which is all about abortion. For many people, Earthbound is a game that's near and dear to their childhoods, and for the most part, it's an innocent little game about kids running around, sometimes fighting creatures, and eventually saving the world. Though, things take a turn for the worse in the last hour of the game. The final boss is an evil alien by the name of, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, I'm going to call him G. He's now known as G. Um, you fight him, and... The middle part of his lair strangely re resembles an endoscopic picture of a female cervix. What is even more disturbing is how the alien looks in battle. He starts out looking like this. Strange, but not exactly anything. But as the battle progresses, he looks like this. The main theory is that they need to travel back to when the alien is at its weakest point which is a fetus, so they're performing a video game styled abortion. In a game that is technically named Mother. Nice. To make matters more valid, in interviews with the game's creator, Shigesato Toy, forgive me if I pronounce it wrong, he has revealed that G is based on an event in his childhood that was traumatic. Not necessarily an abortion, but that he accidentally watched a Japanese horror film called The Military Policeman and the Dismembered Beauty. Honestly, I'm not surprised that the movie exists. I mean, come on, besides Japan's track record on strange media, the internet is so fucked up in so many ways. Now it's time for the last one. Ben Drowned from The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I couldn't be talking about video game legends without adding the fan favorite creepypasta Ben Drowned. Now it's gonna be a long one, so bear with me people. The popular story is of a gamer that is writing about his experience after an elderly man gave him a Majora's Mask game cartridge, which was at a yard sale. Now I'm not going into the full story due to time, but I'll try to get enough context. So, the link to the story will be in the description below. Anyway, like many of you have probably guessed, the game cartridge is haunted by Ben. The gamer at first thought it was just a glitchy game, when the NPC switched back and forth between the name Link and Ben. Note that one of the game saves was named Ben. When he deleted the game save, the text boxes showed no name when he talked to NPCs. Here's where things get a little bit stranger though. The gamer decided to try the fourth day glitch, where you go to the observatory, talk to the astronomer, look into the telescope, all right as the timer hits zero. By doing that, you're pretty much getting an extra day to finish things. 
But instead of that, Link was transported into a hellish world where everything is glitched, the song of healing plays backwards, and you're constantly followed by the elegy of emptiness, aka Ben. A video that is in the article which is linked in the description. Now, as to his true existence, according to one source, Ben, aka Benjamin Lee Ryder, was a Boston teen gamer hacker with family problems and also his own personal problems, like many creepypastas out there. Long story short, he was murdered by his father from drowning, and then he killed his father by electrocution. Allegedly, his spirit haunts a game, as said before, and he also sometimes communicates through Coverbot, which people claim to have communicated to him through that. Now keep in mind that there are many theories claiming who Ben truly is, so I'll leave it up to you to decide what you believe. So that's it for today, guys. I know on a few things I didn't get too horribly much into detail, but that is because I didn't want to waste all of your time by explaining huge long stories. So I tried to get the gist of everything. This video is inspired from a YouTuber who recently quit. She was one of the four people on YouTube that truly inspired me and I kind of wanted to say my thank you to her. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did and you want to see more, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.